So uh, today's going to be a short tutorial on just how to properly um, save your textures as .dds format so they can properly work in game. Uh, I pretty much, there's many ways to do this, but there's two main methods that I would recommend. One is using NVIDIA's texture tools. Um, so I'll, I'll leave the links in the description for this, but if you scroll down, you can see there's the standalone version and the Photoshop plugin. So let's say, for example, let's open up a texture. Let me find one real quick. So let's say this is our texture. And let's say this is a PNG. So we're going to go to File, Save As. We're going to change it to DDS. This is after you've installed the plugin. And you can just go ahead and save it. And it'll open up a new window. And I'll try to explain some of these settings, uh, the main ones. So the format. If it has no alpha, you're going to want to change it to BC1. If it has alpha, you're going to want to change it to BC3. And so for this example, we have no alpha, so we're going to change it to BC1. And then for the mip map options, you're going to want to have it generate them. And then turn on or change this to 4 pixels. So you don't have extra mip maps that don't get used in game. And for the filter type, you're going to change this to the Mitchell one. This is the best one in my personal experience. Then you can just go ahead and click save. It's the exact same thing for the standalone version, it's just not in Photoshop. Then the second option would be this tool, uh, folders to YTD. You can go ahead and go to the releases and then click the zip file. And then just go ahead and open it. Uh, and then you're going to want to extract the EXE that it downloads. And once you go ahead and open it, You'll be greeted with this and uh, you can choose to convert it directly to a YTD or you can ch choose just DDS and then you can go ahead and drag in your folder with textures in it. So let's say for example here we have this folder and we can click convert and then it'll go ahead and uh, convert our files to .dds and it can also convert it to a YTD. So yeah that's basically it. These are the two options that I recommend for uh, converting your textures.